Nurse who replaced residents morphine with mouthwash faces up to 62 years in a $3.5 million fine. More than 100 responders work to help evacuate a nursing home, and residents with Alzheimer's are far more likely to experience recurring epileptic seizures. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, July 24th, 2019. Stay in the know of Long-Term Care News. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A nursing home employee diluted morphine with mouthwash after she stole most of the drug, injuring the resident who received the tainted leftovers. It was just the beginning of a Christmas season rash of drug thefts from residents and her employer, charging documents allege. The woman, a one-time nurse at Good Neighbor Society in Manchester, Iowa, was indicted in U.S. District Court in Cedar Rapids on 13 counts of acquiring a controlled substance by deception and tampering with consumer products. Katie Louise Bull, 31, now faces up to 62 years in prison, a $3.5 million fine, and 42 years of supervised release. Court records show that during a one-week stretch starting last December 24th, Bull took part of a resident's oral morphine sulfate solution and diluted it with mouthwash. On December 28th, 29th, 2018, in her role as a nurse, she allegedly swapped codeine, hydrocodone, oxycodone, morphine, and tramadol intended for at least 10 residents with over-the-counter medicine. Prosecutors alleged in the indictment that at least 13 patients were affected. Emergency responders were spending last Thursday working to evacuate residents of varying conditions from the Crestview Center nursing home. The nursing home in Pennsylvania lost power last Wednesday due to storm-related issues. Firefighters and fire marshals brought in temporary cooling equipment for the overnight and then began evacuations of the 180-bed facility on Thursday once the temperature began to rise. Medics from around Lower Bucks County were at Crestview Center as of late afternoon, along with firefighters from numerous companies. Public works crews from Middletown were also spotted assisting nursing home staff and responders. In addition, a mobile field hospital vehicle operated by the Pennsylvania Department of Health was brought to the scene. Jim McGuire, Middletown's fire hospital, Fire Marshal and Emergency Manager said more than 100 responders were on the scene as of Thursday afternoon, taking residents to a variety of different facilities. We'll be back right after this break. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. People with Alzheimer's disease experience epileptic seizures up to five times more often than those without dementia, new research has found. The risk is much higher than previously thought, Rebecca Edelmeyer, Director of Scientific Engagement at the Alzheimer's Association, said. She suggested that seizure history assessment should be conducted in individuals living with Alzheimer's to help better inform medical care decisions. And elder care providers should remain vigilant for signs of seizure activity, like involuntary jerking of arms or legs, unusual behavior, or loss of awareness. In addition, anti-epileptic drug therapy after the first seizure is critical to maintaining future health. This may help prevent what is called an exceptionally high likelihood of recurrence, especially for those in advanced stages of the disease. The study results were presented at last week's Alzheimer's Association International Conference 2019 in Los Angeles. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.